10 on your side is your local election headquarters. The polls open tomorrow morning at 6 for the June primary. There are a couple of things you need to know before voting. New at 530, Capitol Bureau reporter Sarah McCluskey has those for you. And what's at stake for this election? Primary preps have been underway for months for the general registrar in Chesterfield County. It is general assembly and local. It's a big primary with 35 races for statewide office. Come November, all 140 lawmakers in Virginia's capital will be chosen by voters. If you do not vote in the primary, then someone else will be selecting the candidate that will be on the ballot in November. The Commonwealth has open primaries, so any Virginian registered can vote for any party, but you can only cast one ballot. If voters stay home from the primary, they may find themselves with few choices in the general election. More longtime lawmakers are facing challengers, which our political analyst Rich Marr says is a sign of the times nationwide. The party polarization is driving more interest in these elections, and it's definitely driving challengers. To make sure the candidate you want is on the ballot come November, you'll need to bring a state-issued ID card, like a driver's license. So you know voting districts for the House of Delegates are different this year, too, because the maps were redrawn after a court order. I advise everyone to check their voter status, especially if they have not voted in a while. Um, to make sure that their precinct has not changed. In order to check where you actually can vote, you can actually head to our website right there. We have a story with a voter guide for you with all the information about the races coming up and where you can check your registration. Reporting in Richmond, I'm Sarah McCluskey.